What's cracking you two? My name is Brody and welcome to episode 23 of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock that's been going down on the channel as of late. And in the last episode, what happened was we made our way through Route 12 and yeah, we had had a major episode just full of just wonder trades. I think we had like three wonder trades uh, for three different encounters in the last episode. So yeah, the last ep episode was pretty good. So if you guys missed out on that one, be sure to go check that one out. Uh, link should be in the video description. If it's not, then I apologize. Just have to go to the channel and search for that one. But with that said, in today's episode, what we're going to do is continue through Comarine City, do a little bit of exploring, and then make our way down south because we're at like the north. Uh, part of Comarine City. Uh, we're going to make our way down south and go to the gym and see what Serena is doing there because I believe we got a holo clip in the last episode uh, kind of telling us uh, that she's outside the gym waiting for us. But yeah, with that said, let's go. Let's, oh no, <laughs> let's explore. I, yeah, as I've been saying in like almost every single episode, I have not played this game in a long, long time. It has been forever. So it's kind of just nice. So yeah, that's Route 12. We need to head this way. Yeah, it has been a long, long time. And um, I've really been enjoying uh, coming back and playing the game. But this guy looks important. Ooh, he's still scarf. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Cheers. Kind of just going to pop into all the buildings and see what's going on. So there's no salesman there. Shall I lend you a rod? Oh, so we get the good, the good rod. Yeah, check that. So we get the good rod. That's nice. Not bad. What else? What else? What else? What else? This guy. What's going on at the Kalos power plant? I heard the electricity for Lumio City is getting lower than usual. Those team flag runs, I tell you, they're up to mischief. I'm so happy to be able to ride the monorail every time I go to the Pokemon Center. Nice. My magic cup is so cute when it eats Pokepuffs. Whatever. Watching it eat them made me go off my diet again. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so I know I remember this chick from the last time I played and she asked questions. Totally totally random TM quiz. If you give me a correct answer, whoa. I'll give you a TM. Do you want to try the quiz? Okay. What's the move that I'm describing? If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. Hmm. I'm guessing it's acrobatics because it's the only one that actually does damage. Okay. As I promised, I'll give you this TM. I don't have to explain what kind of move this is, correct? <laughs> That's like the best TM out of all of them, for sure. Please come again tomorrow. Okay, well, let's make use of acrobatics, because I think that it's a pretty good move from what I remember. So it's 55. This, the user nimbly strikes the target. If the user's not holding an item, it's okay. Well, no one can learn it anyway, which kind of sucks, kind of sucks, but that's alright. Let's continue on. We'll just have a quick squiz in this building, and then we will make our way down south and take on Serena. Um, I think this is the Lucky Egg Woman. Uh, bring a Pokemon that you're really, and she'll give me something nice. Okay. How do I know <laughs> what Pokemon I'm really friendly with? It's like I don't really get friendly with the Mons. Maybe Octillery? Because I don't really have anyone in the party that's, um... Like my own. It's all traded. <laughs> Everything's all traded. Unless I, like, went and got Flare out. Oh, uh, the Fennekin. And took that to her, maybe. But, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Bonding sh should be in here. No, the game director, okay. Hello, I'm the game director. Ah, you're working on the Pokedex, come show me when you fill it up. So that must be in Mr. Bonding, must be in the Pokemon Center, maybe? He's usually either in the hotels or the Pokemon Center, so. Anyway, I was really looking looking forward to seeing his pink suit in today's episode. 
but that's all good. That's all good. Let's go. Let's make our way down south because we need to heal up. We need to heal up. Oh, look, this looks important. There's Fairy Lady and Sycamore. Why, hello. Well, hello, Amity. Bonjour. <laughs> Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. Oh, thanks for pointing out the obvious boss. Really appreciate it. A strong bond. Don't act stupid. You're like the champion of all champions. Does this make you think something like Kalos' is legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The more more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Okay. Oh, that's right, I came here to give you this. HM2 Fly. I'll take it, I'll take it. Use HM Fly to pop right over to Pokemon Centers. Cool. Cheers. It's like, bonds. <laughs> they really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I f focus on what I have in common with the character, I put myself in her shoes and I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. I never know. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. You're just rambling? Sounds like something I would do. Trash can's empty. Will I be riding the monorail? Yes. Please. Yes, please. Let's check the animation. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I, I really wanted to see like a nice animation. Pokemon or Monorail? It's definitely Pokemon. Never really been interested in trains or anything like that. Hillcrest Station, the Monorail leaves from here. But let's head in here. Let's see if Mr. Bondo. Mr. Bondo's in here. Look at him in the corner. He's in the corner. I'm gonna heal up real quick before I forget. Because I got a feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget. But yeah, I haven't really gone through the party, have I? I haven't really done like a party recap or anything, but um, we'll do that at the start of the next episode. Have a bit of a refresh on how everyone's going. Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. Let me ask you, just in case, do you need to hear an explanation? No. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Uh, hopefully they put like some unique character like this in Pokemon Sun and Moon, that'd be awesome. Nice pink suit. Befriending power makes your Pokemon grow friendly more easily. Cause... I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. I hear some Pokemon have... Uh, I hear of some Pokemon that appear in a horde have rare abilities. Okay. Okay. Pokemon you receive in a trade from a trainer in a different country are slightly easier to raise. I didn't notice. I didn't notice that all these mons that we've been getting wanted traded have been like leveling up way too quickly at times. Then other times they're like barely on par. It's real strange. Game sync. Okay. Okay. But let's have a look here. Comarine City, the city where Bay and Butt are bound. Okay. Bay and Butt. Oh, this is a nice place. It's like nice on dusk at the moment here. So, those egg-like things that are found in Pokemon Daycare, strictly speaking, they're not eggs. They're more like a Pokemon Cradle. Okay. I can't be bothered going into those houses, so we're done exploring for now. Probably could have done that in a grinding montage, but I don't know. We're just chill. We're here. We're hanging. But, uh, hmm. 
I think I think it would be best. I don't know Bastionon seems like a safe choice to go into the this battle with Serena. Because I believe she had Mousik last time and Bastiodon can tank a hit like a beast. But let's just check what's up here. Scoop up this item, we got the sky plate. I got a really itchy nose today. It is killing me. It's absolutely killing me. All day. It's been all day. I've just been itching my nose. If you use rain dance and to, to make it rain, thunder will never miss. I like that. I like tips like that. See, I didn't I didn't actually know that. I'm having such an amity moment right now. I really did not know that in rain dance thunder did not miss, but you know, the more you know. I'm sorry I'm late. So could you show me Mega Evolution? Of course, whether you use a Mega Evolution in Battle or not is entirely up to you, but I'd like to know what the potential of Pokemon really is. Well, I don't have anything. I need the Mega like Pidgeotite or something like that. I need to find out where to get that. Because we had Kangaskhan and then we lost Kangaskhan, so that's out. We've got Pidgeot now. And I don't think we have anything else that can Mega Evolve. So... It is what it is, but let's go. See, do it. I, I don't want to swagger. I'm avoiding swagger because it just backfires. But then, oh, the setup. I was expect. I was really expecting the fake out. Hmm. Oh, we can pretty much. I oh, know. I reckon we can just chip away at this miastic. Take our time. A trap. No. Oh, no, it's not doing. It's not doing too bad. We still need a decent move on Bastiodon though, because this is just getting out of hand. I keep saying it, like every episode, I'm like, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do some research. I'll have I have a quick um quick sus online and uh, see what moves we could get um, Bastiodon and if there's like an, a TM that I've missed along the way, kind of thing. But you know, once again, it is what it is. We're here, and if, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the uh, kind of constant uploads as of late uh, with the one lock, uh, especially as of this week. We actually, um, from what I believe as of recording this, I'm planning to do seven days straight of the one lock because we need to crush this lock before Sun and Moon comes out because I'm going to be overwhelmed with uh, Sun and Moon content when that comes out. So we need to make sure we've got this all knocked out. And I've really been enjoying this one a lot, so I'm, I'm kind of glad to see more of it on the channel. But yeah, if you guys have been, have been enjoying uh, the one a lot so far, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you have been, if you haven't been. Drop a dislike on the video if you'd like, and let me know why. What, like, what? I'm, I know I'm not the most entertaining person in the world, but, you know, you know, let me know why. Maybe you just enjoy TCG more. I, I know I absolutely adore the TCG. I love, like, look at this right now. You guys, look at this right now. I have a booster box sitting right next to me. That's that's how much I love TCG. I, it just has to be in eyesight at all times. But let's go sleep powder. Okay, not too bad. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that is too bad. Let's sleep powder. Don't do too, too much. Should be able to eat it up. <laughs> Out of all things, come on. We're going to hit ourselves. You're joking. You're joking. Let's try one more sleep powder. If this doesn't hit, I'm done. I'm so done. Oh, no. I'm so done, you guys. I'm so done. I just got hacked and... Oh, I don't know what to say. Isn't that annoying? Like, I'm sure you guys watching right now, this has happened to you before. Where everything has just gone pear-shaped. Just for that brief moment, everything goes pear-shaped. And when it could have been so much easier, like, Froggy could have just took a sleep powder, fell asleep. We could have, or we could have just used a gear, gear drain. And it would have been over and done with. Like, seriously, let's just... Let's just throw a Giga Drain, uh, Mega Drain, sorry. Should be able to hit this one. We'll get the health back. Oh, that did a lot. Oh, it was a crit. 
Okay. Get the Mega Drain off. Get the health back. Oh, that was a crit as well. <laughs> we could have... Oh, I just need to think. I need to think. That would have been the smart play from the beginning. Just get the Mega Drain off. You're good to go. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Things went, like, we broke through confusion twice just then. So we went from, like, everything going pear-shaped to everything going really well. I, I, I don't understand it. This game is kind of like that, eh? It kind of is like that. So we got Absol. Hmm. Absol is weak to fighting. I'm really feeling Gabite. I'm feeling Gabite. Let's go with Gabite. I know. See, Gabite is good. Good in the Let's Plays, but it's bad just because it gets its final evolution so late in the game. I don't know if it's just me, but let's go Slash. High Crit. What was that? High Crit Ratio. Can we get the Crit? Nope. Let's go again. It's not Stab, but ooh. Ooh, it's a Slash off. I was going to say, don't, don't Crit. Don't Crit. But that did a lot. That did a lot. Let's just get a Bastiodon. And see what Bastiodon can do for us. Also, another thing I'd like to know, if, uh, for you guys watching, let me know in the comment section below how long an episode do you think I should do? Because as of late, I think I've been rocking around 30 minute episodes, which has been comfortable to record. It gets hard to, I don't know, talk about something interesting if you don't need for that long a period I feel as if live stream I it gets to the point where you're kind of just live streaming kind of just chilling and um, enjoying it but not entertaining like what YouTube should be um, but yeah I think usually 20 to 20 to 30 is a pretty decent time for me I don't know let me know in the comment section below what you guys think but I wouldn't do it any less than 20 because it's too short it's like you kind of like introduce the video, start to get into something, and it's just done. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, from what I've seen on YouTube, uh, a decent episode length is about 25 minutes long. But yeah, anyway. As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. Ooh, damn, Serena. Don't say that. Don't flatter me. Even though we set off from Vanville Town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? But yeah, see, the game really speeds up here. Um, so we went from, like, three gym badges in the space of, like, 20 episodes or whatever it was to now, like, we're on our fourth fourth now soon we'll be straight on to the fifth and yeah the game's going to really fly by from here obviously we got a bit of a delay with the team flare at the power plant and all that sort of jazz but that is all expected all expected awesome so we're all healed up i think we're just going to hit up the gym i don't really see too too much else to do it's grass type gym from what i believe nice green pokeball gym sign at the front there too which is a bit of a giveaway. But I don't know how they fit this. Like, this gym must be, like, underground. Like, crazy. Let's see what... <laughs> my favourite guy at the gyms has to say. How's the bout, little sprout? <laughs> you got it all figured out yet, yeah, champ? Yep. Old man Ramos' gym is all about grass. It's simple, right? You see a vine hanging in front of you and you just grab right on and hang on for your dear life. That's maybe <laughs> the most important part of all, right, pal? Ah, uh, he's so funny. What a funny character. Okay. You just press A and it climbs up automatically. Okay. Actually, you better check who's at the front. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. So, Bastiodon's pretty much useless, Octillery's pretty much useless, Gloom is somewhat okay, because it's poison, Ponyta's GG, 
Ponytar is going at the front. <laughs> Ponytar is definitely going at the front for this gym. Right, now let's head this way. That's a dead end. That's no good. Let's go. So we got a Pokemon Ranger. Listen to that music. Behold the power of green, the power of nature. What do you got for me, Chase? He has a Simi Sage, a monkey. Get out of here, you're gonna get bodied right now. I wonder when, actually, sorry, a quick change of, uh, change of topic right now. But I'm like, when does Ponyta evolve? When does Ponyta evolve? Is it, it's gotta be mid 30s, it couldn't be anything. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, we definitely need the bulk of of Rapidash right now. That didn't do as much as what I thought it would. Oh, we're, we're only par. 32, level 32. Each way. That's rough. That's rough. That's right. Ponytail will get up real quick. But yeah, that did a lot of damage, even though we resisted it. So we need to get on top of that. Ponytail's got to be... Ponyta is going to be our MVP of this episode. I can feel it. But let's continue on through the gym. And I really like this gym. I actually really like this gym. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Camarine City gym. And um, what type, if you had a grass type gym, what, how would you have it designed? Would you have it designed like this? Like a treehouse kind of thing? Oh, whoops. Did we go down? I think we get down. Let's go down. Yeah, would you have like a treehouse design kind of gym or would you have something completely different? There we go. My Pokemon and I will share the joy of defeating you. That that wasn't nice. Why are you so hostile though? But it's alright. It's all good. Oh good, oh good. Level 30. So I think we'll flame wheel. Um I think flame wheel does a little bit more than flame charge. I think. But um flame wheel has the chance of burn and flame charge up speed, so I don't know. I think flame wheel is better. I really like oh what's the line inferno? Inferno, how much does that do? It does 100, the user attack by engulfing the target in an intense fight, this leaves the target with a burn. Actually, 50, it's not really reliable, so... Nope, give up on Inferno. That That's interesting, because it leaves it with a burn as well, but the chances of hitting is just like 50-50, so... Just unreliability, unreliability. If we had something like Rain Dance, like the whole Rain Dance effect um, with Ponyta, so like for example Rain Dance and Thunder like combine together to increase accuracy or like make you know, th so Thunder never misses, but for example you'd have Inferno with some sort of like Blaze Dance, I, I don't know, I, I don't know where I'm going with that, but um, I think you guys get what I mean, kind of makes sense, I have like a Blaze Dance instead of Rain Dance, and then Inferno is like your thunder, and then it never misses because of the blaze dance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But awesome. All good. Another ranger down. So I'm guessing since we battled another ranger then we're on the right track. We go down, and then we've gone back up. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. We're just winging things at the moment. I have absolutely no clue. Is that a dead end? That is a dead end. I saw it as well. That's so bad. That is so bad. Oops, something popped up on my screen. Alrighty, so let's keep heading this way. Another Pokemon ready. To realize our true potential, my Pokemon and I must become connected on an emotional level. Why so serious though? These Rangers are so serious. Every single one of them. Oh, look at Drivel face. I have one of you. 
but yeah, I gotta watch out for that um, when it comes to gloom v gloom kind of battle. Ooh, it, it held on. See, that's not good. Stun as well. Paralysis is the probably the best hacks in the game, so I'm not really liking the stun spot at the moment. Just delaying the inevitable. Inevitable. I don't know. Gloom reminds me of Brock. I don't know. I was just having a thought then. I'm like, you look at how Gloom has its eyes closed all the time, and then you just, I just thought of Brock from the anime, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm just laughing for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. But coming to Wiggy, Executor, my boy, my boy Executor, seeing you all day, every day in Pokemon Go. With that said, let me. It, Oh, that did a lot. That did a lot. Uh, let me know in the comment section below um, if you guys have an Executor in Pokemon Go. And what CP is it? We'll go out to Pidgeot because I don't want to go to Gloom because of that Psy Wave. Super effective against Poison. Oh, Confusion. Eating that up four days. Aerial Ace never misses, so that's winning. Laters. But yeah, let me know what CP your uh, Executor is in Pokemon Go if you guys have a Executor in Pokemon Go. At this current moment, I do not have one, but um, I do have enough candies, I just haven't evolved it yet. I'm thinking of making like a video where I evolve everything live for you guys. If that makes any sense, we're gonna do like a live evolution episode series. But yeah, that's just something, something like different on the channel. Completely un. Ooh, hello, hello. Can we get in this way? You're joking. No. <laughs> Didn't we have to walk all the way down? Alrighty, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna heal up. Oh, is, it, is it worth going all the way back down? Yeah, it's worth it. We need to. It must be done. I really wish we could use... We can't use an escape rope, eh? I don't know. I can't remember if we can or not, but I'm not even going to try because that's embarrassing if we can't. That is really embarrassing. And the fact that I don't know is even more embarrassing, but, you know. You know. Let's go down. See if we can remember the way back up. That's going to be the hardest part. Dude, my my character is so bulky. He's like climbing up those ropes like they're nothing. Jeez, hitting the gym, my boy. But yeah, but yes. <laughs> Are we nearly out yet? It would be so much easier if they let us take the slide. I'd muchly appreciate if we could take the slide. <sighs> we don't go one more. That's a dead end. I think that's. I think we're out, guys. I think we are finally out. Finally, finally. Look at this. It's like dusk right now. It's really nice. Look at the lights on and stuff. I don't like it. I actually just finished work. Got home. I'm like, I want to record some Wonderlock. I want to record some Wonderlock. But let's heal up, and then we'll head back to the gym. We'll make our way back up to the gym leader. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. The old man. Old man gym leader. And then I think we will call it a day, and we'll start off the next episode with a gym battle against old man. Mr. Old Man. I can't remember his name for the life of me right now. Oh, the mind, the mind blanks. I cannot remember his name. You guys are probably like in the conversation right now. It's this guy. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Painter Man. Is he a painter? I think he's a painter. He's an artist. 
Lego. Lego. It's got a nice gym. I really like the kind of like like effects, like how the leaves kind of drop down off the side there. You can see just on the right of the screen now. I think that is a nice effect. Yeah, we go this way because we gotta go back down. Back down and then back up. I can't even remember if I healed up just then. I think I, I think we should have healed up. I'm sure we did. But we're nearly there. Oh, the pains. The pains. I could have just used like a super, super potion and then it would have saved a lot of trouble, but you know. PP pee -pee and stuff, just in case. Just in case things, things got a little bit pear-shaped. We're pretty safe with Pidgeot, but just in case things go a bit pear-shaped, I had to play it safe. You guys probably under... I know you guys probably understand, but... I just had to say it. And there we go. So we're finally at this guy. <laughs> Mr. Old Man. Mr. Old Man himself. But let's save up right here. So, we didn't really do all too much. We kind of just explored Comarine City today and like scooped up a couple items. Made our way, like grinded our way through the trainers to the gym leader here. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. But with that said, in the next episode, we're going to be get kicking it off with a gym battle, which should be pretty, pretty hype. And then we're just going to continue on and keep winging it from here. You guys know how it is. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Pokemon Y Wonderlock, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode 24 or just another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.